quite burnt. Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, it is another very festive video because that's literally all it is right now because it is December, my favourite time of year. And a lot of people I know have been requesting for me to do more cooking videos because they think it's entertaining because I am horrific at cooking. I thought it would be fun to go all out and cook a full on Christmas dinner. And let's just get into it. So it is the day before I attempt to cook this Christmas dinner and I'm going to be cooking a lot of it from scratch so I'm pretty nervous. Just the shop and buy all the ingredients I'm going to need for this video so I'm going to take you with me. I'm actually quite nervous to do this because I don't think I've ever bothered to cook anything from scratch before. Time to cook the big Christmas dinner. We'll start cooking anyway because it's going to take a while. So I'm going to head downstairs. I'll show you guys what I've got and what I'm going to be cooking and then we'll just get started. I'm very nervous to do this. I'm not very good at cooking as I've mentioned about a hundred times but Christmas dinner is just amazing. So if this turns out well this will be the best day of my life. I'm like, I'm, yeah. I'm not even joking. Let's go do it. So when I went to Tesco's the other day with Ash, I bought this turkey. Now, normally, obviously on Christmas day, when there's a lot of you, you have like a whole big turkey, but there is only one of me, and I think Taylor's having some as well. But I was not gonna spend loads of money on a massive turkey just for me. But I did buy a turkey, and it is the butter basted turkey breast joint. So it's literally just a big turkey breast. This looks absolutely incredible. I'm so excited to eat this. Tesco also did this like vegetable set that you would normally have with a Christmas dinner. So like carrots and parsnips all in one. It's the root vegetable melody. So it's literally got all I need for this dinner in one packet. So I'm gonna be cooking the carrots and the parsnips from that. Of course, it's not Christmas dinner without pigs and blankets. Not had pigs and blankets since last Christmas, I don't think so. I'm buzzing to eat these. Normally with roast potatoes, I do tend to shove Aunt Bessie's in the oven, but I wanted to make a little bit more effort with this. So I have just bought normal potatoes and I'm gonna boil them and like peel them and boil them and stuff and roast them myself. However, I did wonder if I should make the Yorkshire's from scratch and a lot of people were like, you don't wanna do that, it's very difficult. So I did go with Aunt Bessie's for the Yorkshire's, but we'll let that slide, it's fine. Apparently it is very complicated to make and I want this to go well. I'm making other things from scratch, so it's fine. Did get some stuffing mix, I'm gonna be making that myself. So I'm excited to do that and stuffing is like literally one of the best parts about Christmas dinner. That is everything I got for the Christmas dinner. Obviously, it kind of varies with Christmas dinner, like sometimes people don't always necessarily have things in blankets or Yorkshire's, some people have different things, not everyone has meat obviously, but this is what I would normally have. And we're going to be cooking all of this. I'm very excited, but this is going to be quite tricky because I don't think I've ever done this before. We're going to try. To start with, I'm going to be roasting the turkey. It's going to take two hours, ten minutes to do this. So what I'm going to do is put that in the oven, go and go about my day and then come back before it's nearly done and then start getting on with the other stuff. Let's get this turkey in the oven. So what it says to do is get a baking tray and then put it in foil. I just need to check if we've actually got any foil. Is the world going to end if you cook it without foil because I don't have any foil, so that is just brilliant. I'm going to Google it because I don't want to do anything wrong. Good news, I've Googled it and it's only recommended to use foil. It's not like the world's gonna end if you don't. So I'm just gonna be a complete rebel and cook without foil because I don't have any and I can't be bothered to go to the shop. Look at that. The 
big turkey there. Right. Nice big fat turkey without foil. We're good to go. I'm gonna put that in the oven. So my turkey is in the oven. Hopefully this should go well. I'm gonna leave that to roast for a little bit and I'll be back to cook the rest of the stuff like pigs and blankets and vegetables. Hopefully this is going to go to plan. Hopefully. It is a couple of hours later now and I'm gonna go and check on the turkey because it's been in the oven for quite a long time and then we'll see if it's time to cook any of the other stuff yet. So the reason why I've got my torch on is because our kitchen light has broken and it's not been fixed yet, so that is why it looks really dark right now. But I've put my phone torch on. Hopefully you can see me okay. Let's check on the turkey. So this is what it looks like at the moment. It looks quite burnt. I'm gonna cut it open and see what it looks like. I get why people use foil now because there's like loads of stuff on the tray that made it look like it was burnt, but it's not. That's like a little bit of it. I think it's done. That was done a lot quicker than I thought. It wasn't even in the oven for like too long. Like just over an hour. I'm gonna let that like cool down. I'm gonna put the other stuff in. It's time to start boiling the potatoes. That's what they look like. Turkey is making me quite paranoid. I'm actually scared it's burnt. Let's peel the potatoes. Peeling potatoes is such a fat. I know you meant to do this over the bin, but I'm not doing that. To be fair, like while everything else is cooking, I can like cut the turkey because I don't think the skin is that nice. So I think I'm gonna like properly carve it. God help us all. These are pretty big potatoes, so I might only have like one or two. Trying not to cut myself. I should probably turn the oven off actually, so there's nothing's in there before I burn the house down. I actually don't know how people do this on Christmas Day. I'm already stressed. I'm gonna do one more potato if it fits, because these potatoes are fat as f But even if I've burnt the turkey, it's better to have it very torched than undercooked, so I'm saving lives, basically. Fill the kettle and put hot water in the pan. That's gonna boil. Do you know what? This is stressing me so much. I need alcohol. Lovely. Right. Hot. So while the potatoes are boiling, I'm gonna get started on the vegetables. Look at that. I've never seen a parsnip that big. Not that I've seen many parsnips in my time. I'm just gonna cut the head off. Why is this parsnip so hard? It does not look like the parsnips that my mum does normally. I think you just cut them into like long things. I'm gonna try and do that. You know what? Forget the shape. Let's just cook them, and if they taste nice, then that's fine. Right, two nice long bits, there we go. That looks like a proper parsnip. Oh my god. This is stressful enough, and there's only one of me. Right, I don't want to set the fire alarm off. So, the carrots and parsnips are in this pan. From what I know, boil them in a saucepan. I'm gonna do that. The potatoes and the vegetables are currently in progress. So I'm gonna get on with the pigs in blankets and the stuffing. I didn't know stuffing was suitable for vegans. Put a sachet of stuffing mix into a large heat proof bowl. Okay. 200 milliliters of boiling water. Right, I need to measure 200 milliliters. So I'm gonna pour some water into this and then pour it into the kettle just to make sure I get the exact measurement. Right, so now I have to stir this. I think this is the most effort I've ever put into a 24 hour challenge because the pumpkin, you literally just like chop that up and put it in the oven. This is way more complex. Pretty sure a bit of cider just dripped into my stuffing, but never mind. It looks so good. Ah! Oh my god, it's going everywhere. I need to let this stuff in stand for five minutes and then we put it onto a oven tray and put it in the oven. While the stuffing is just waiting over there, I'm gonna shove the pigs and blankets in the oven. So it's going in the oven. They normally take about 20 minutes. Probably time to put the stuffing onto the baking tray. I have managed to put the stuffing into like little balls and I think they look okay. I think this is how you meant to do it. I'm going to put these in the oven. These take about 20 minutes to half an hour. Checking on the vegetables and the potato. Now I'm going to carve like all the skin off this turkey so it looks edible. 
just drain the vegetables now. I'm a bit less stressed now because the only thing I need to wait for is the thing, the pigs and blankets and the potatoes. The potatoes are looking quite nice. I think they need a little bit more on the hob and then they can go in the oven. So my camera died on my GoPro, but look how good this looks. The stuffing is done. Pigs and blankets done, vegetables, turkey. All I have left to do is the Yorkshires, which I'm gonna put in now. And then the potatoes are still like roasting in the oven for a little bit. And then that's literally it, apart from the gravy. So this has actually turned out better than I thought. It was just like stressful doing so many things at once and we have our christmas dinners these actually look so good considering how stressful it was i'm proud just gonna pour the gravy on this looks amazing i'm freaking proud honestly this tastes really good yes the turkey was a little bit overdone but now that it's on the plate with gravy and everything with it tastes amazing. I completely forgot to film an outro for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next week for a brand new video. Bye.